Back sports fans, Tuesday night hoop session across central Georgia. We're bringing you the best of the hardwood straight from the heart. How about that? First stop, home of the Rutland Hurricanes. The Canes paying tribute tonight to the late great Kobe Bryant, his daughter Gianna, and her teammates Alyssa Altobelli and Peyton Chester. With four chairs at center court with their respective jerseys before the tip-off, along with 24 seconds of silence to start the game. It's been a rough 72 hours already, folks, for the world of basketball and beyond. But playing is what the Mamba would want, so play on. The Canes start off from downtown. Jamarco Hughes, they call him Debo for the three ball. Got him up early on the Trojans. The defense starts to break for the black and gold. Kobe Towns, yeah, Kobe gets the steal, wheels and deals with the finger roll off the window for two to close the gap. Canes answer with a steal of their own. And then Brad Chapman, like a track meet, zoom, nice finish with the layup. A couple of misses from the Canes right here on this possession, but they stay with it. And Greg Rutherford, he'll get the put back and the route would be on. On well, one highlight from Peach County, Ladaria Leggett, the sophomore, he's dropping buckets right here. He'd have a team high 17 points in the loss, but too much Canes. Kelman Bluford, the senior, yeah, he's making it rain. Bang, 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 and Rutland, they take down PC, 79-48. Senior night with Rutland, like I mentioned earlier, and visiting Peach County. Great night to honor the class of 2020. Rutland up a lot to a little in the second half. Kane steal the inbound pass, and they go the distance. Caitlin Green gets the layup. Then more Canes bringing the pain. Green with a nice no look to Monique Christian, who rebounds her own miss to extend the lead to double digits. Peach still battling late in the fourth. A three ball right here, corner pocket. A get in there, yeah, yeah, but it's not near enough. The Canes roll to get the sweep, 54-28. Moving right along to the east side, north side in Waco, late third quarter. Raiderettes leading by four. Malachi Parker to Miracle Parker. Dive and switch for the three, and the Lady Hawks trail by one. Then Jakia Little drives, finds Kanaya Harper, who puts it up and in. Raiderettes down by five. Middle of the fourth, Jakia Little with the rock, goes hard. The paint absorbs the contact, makes the basket, and one. Raiderettes down by 14. Late fourth, Destiny Ellison drives, calls glass. Now, Lady Hawks fly away with this one. 70 to 58 is the final. In time for the fellas, early first quarter, Hawks with the nice ball movement. Caleb Moore with a contested shot, gets the shooter's roll, and the Golden Hawks lead by two. Hawks on the attack, Deshaun Dixon to Jordan Mays. Ball going up on a Tuesday with the three. Hawks still up by two. Raiders with the defense, Quentin Olsen. So number one in your hearts, number one on the roster, Travion Solomon, whoop, kiss off the glass. Raiders trailing by one, middle of the first. Waco Dixon with the steal, passes to Jordan Mays. You knew it, he drives and finishes with the reverse layup. Nice looking there, Hawks flying high. And late in the first, Raiders ball, Travion Solomon to Delvin Williams, who stops and pops the jumper from the key, but it's not enough to prevent the sweep by Waco. 68-50, oh yeah, is your final. 